Hello guys, Tav HD here and welcome back to another video and today's video is an exciting video and it is a special video because I am unboxing my new M4 Mac Mini. Now this is only my second ever brand new Mac, my first one being my 2015 MacBook Pro. I bought that new in 2017 so it's been 5, 6, 7, 8 years since I got that. Wow doesn't feel that long ago but here we are eight years later with my next new Mac and this will be quite an upgrade indeed so today we're just going to be unboxing and setting this up and just showing you my experience with it so there is the picture on the front I'm pretty sure that is a life-size picture of the size that it actually is I think that's the way Mac Minis have always been I've had two Mac Minis before a 2014 and a 2012, they were of course a bigger footprint, they were thinner than this, but this is chunkier, but smaller, and a heck of a lot more powerful. So I've just gone for the absolute base model, this is the 16 gigabytes of memory, 256 gigabyte SSD, 10 core CPU and 10 core GPU. Again, it's powerful enough, I'm going from a 10 year old MacBook Pro to this. And the MacBook Pro still does everything I need it to do just fine. It's just, I want it to do it a little bit more than fine. And that's why I've got this. So the advancements in technology since then, going from I think a fourth gen Intel to an M4 Apple chip, it will be crazy, crazy fast. But let's stop talking and let's open this. I've never opened a new Mac Mini before. Mine have come in the boxes but never sealed so this is quite exciting. Let's open this. That's one. That's two and we need to get the dramatic lid pull of course because I'd be very very silly if I didn't so let's open this up. There it is, right there. And it really is tiny. It's really quite heavy, but it's tiny. Let's leave that to the side for now and have a look at what else we get in the box. We get a braided power cable. That is quality. I do like a good Apple cable. I will probably use this one. Usually I keep them in the packaging to keep them special, but I might as well use it. And here's the other information we get in there. It's circular this time round, I guess, just to fit nicely. And what do we get in here? I don't know, and I don't want to open it because it's nicely sealed away. I don't know if we get Apple stickers anymore. I don't see any, and I'm not going to bother opening it because I don't want to mess it up, but that is okay. Let's move all that off to the side, and let's unwrap this thing. Of course wrapped in paper these days to be nice and eco-friendly and it wraps around the bottom as well I really don't want to rip this so I'm going to be extra careful if I can there we are completely unwrapped okay so let's take a quick look around this thing there's not that much to talk about although with this new case design we get ports on the front for the first time these are just two USB-C ports these aren't Thunderbolt so bear that in mind Headphone jack on the front and power light. On the bottom is the controversial part. It's the power button. Exactly how I'm going to press that, I don't know, especially with where I want to put the machine at the back of my desk. Might cause some problems, but I think they don't think people turn their machines off, especially with these efficient machines. People tend to just let them sleep, but I like to turn them off, so I'm not sure how that's going to go yet. On the back is our figure of eight power input. We get an ethernet. You can upgrade these to 10 gig. This is just standard one gigabit. That is fine for me. HDMI, then three Thunderbolt four ports. And that is all the IO that we get on this thing. Now I have bought a Thunderbolt four dock, a Cal digit one. I'll be unboxing that in a separate video if you want to see what I think about that. So for now, Let's just plug this thing in and see how it goes. So my monitor's now on the correct input. There is a light on the front, nothing showing up on screen. So I'm gonna inconveniently press the power button. There we go, we got a bong. That actually sounded good. Now internal speakers are usually rubbish. 
This will probably be rubbish, but that was quite a promising bong. And would you look at that? We're getting something coming up on screen. Out of focus, but there we go. It's saying hello. I've not connected a keyboard, but I have connected my new Logitech MX Master. All I had to do was put it onto mode two and it immediately connected. So let's go ahead. We're going to use English, of course. And it looks like it is natively running in 4K60, as of course it should. So let's go through this. Now we need to pair a keyboard. Now I have bought a new Magic Keyboard, but I don't want to set it up yet. So I'm going to try and use this old thing. It should still have some charge in it. So let's try and connect this. And somehow it looks like that has connected. So let's see. Um, so it's now talking to me. Okay. Okay. Seems happy now. I don't know what went wrong then. Okay, we are indeed in the United Kingdom. Let's go over that. We don't need any accessibility. Let's connect to my Wi-Fi. We are not going to transfer any data. I'd like this to be perfectly fresh. Now we need to sign into our Apple ID. All right, so we're apparently supposed to read the terms and conditions. I'm just going to decline that. Okay, create a computer account. Let's go through with this. We can go with anything. Let's go with a unicorn because that's cool. And now it's going to create my account. Okay, make this your new Mac. These are all the things that I need to go through. That all looks fine as it is to me. Dark mode, hell yeah. Apple Intelligence. Now, I know nothing about it other than it's a bit crap, apparently. But anyway, welcome to Mac. This is the only Mac I've got that is currently supported on the latest version of Mac OS. So I'm sure there'll be some learning to do. And there we go. We're at the desktop, we are all set up. All right, so this is where I'm gonna leave this video for now, I'll conclude it once I've used the computer a bit more. But this is officially my new Mac. There we go, look at that, Apple M4. This is exciting, it's good to have something that's actually current and powerful. Of course, this is the least powerful M4 Mac, but this will still be so much better than what I'm used to. I'm so excited to start using it. All right, so it's been a few weeks since I filmed that last clip. I've been using the computer a lot. You can see I've got my two displays set up. I've been editing on this and so far so good. It's a lot, lot faster than my MacBook Pro. If I was to export a 10 minute 4K video on this, it might take 25 to 30 minutes. On this new thing, exporting the same thing takes about two and a half minutes, which is absolutely crazy. I'm not used to that yet because I used to export, go away from my computer, then come back after a while and it would be done. But this is done before I can even think about going doing anything else. So that is definitely a good increase for my productivity. And here it is, just sat on my desk. I've not cable managed anything yet. Everything's not set up completely properly there will be a full dedicated video to changing my setup over to this computer so if you'd like to see that make sure you stay tuned but yeah i'm very very happy with this thing the only problem i have is as everyone complained about when it first came out the power button is on the bottom now i think their thought is most people just wouldn't turn it off but i like to turn computers off so for me to turn this on every time you've got to lift it up and then press the button, which is a bit annoying. Is it the end of the world? Not really. Do I wish the button was somewhere else? Yeah, but it's not exactly a deal breaker. And I've not dropped it or anything yet. So, so far, so good. So thank you for watching this video. That's going to be where I leave it for now. There's going to be plenty more content about this computer in the future. But for now, that is where we're going to leave this video. I've exported a few videos. And I haven't even heard the fan yet. It doesn't even get hot. So I am very, very impressed. So thank you again. And I'll see you in the next video, which will have been successfully edited on this thing. So thank you. And I'll see you then. Goodbye.